Hey guys, welcome aboard. You're looking at the checkerboard in Kai Tak, Hong Kong. This is an airport that is defunct. It actually was shut down in 1998 when Hong Kong built her new airport. But Microsoft Flight Simulator, in their infinite kindness, has recreated Kai Tak for us. And BatSim has even made the approach charts for us. But something important I want to tell you today. This is my last flight on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I'm flying my favorite airplane, the TFDI MV-11, of which I was a part of the uh, quality assurance team. Today I'll be using two of my favorite programs, which down the lower left, FSI panel, and in the middle, say intentions, and of course, TFDI in the bottom right. This was my first year ever simulating. I started off on Microsoft Flight Simulator with Xbox, and uh, retired from American Airlines as a captain, on the 777 and started producing content shortly thereafter. Please subscribe, please join our Discord, please be part of our community. But this is how I'm going to celebrate my last creation for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, forever, this will be near and dear to my heart, 2020, because of uh, my introduction to flight simulation. Uh, so if you're not familiar with FSI panel, let's get you familiar with that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start that up because you can use FSI panel. The motto is train like a real pilot. And there it is. We'll get that opened up. It's, you're going to see the airport and the runway is going to come in. We're on runway 13. Where do we want to start out? You can do any kind of approach. You can do all sorts of scenarios. Highly recommended. Um, you can, it has all different kinds of scenarios. Let's see. All of these that you can do approaches, uh, challenging the takeoff to landing, shorter on flights. They, they do have one here, a long haul to Europe training for uh, European flights or that same type of profile, which is really cool. Got a medium uh, one for my uh, JFK to Miami. Um, most of them are short, challenging, in some cases challenging. The level, you can see level one, two, three, four. This certainly would be a level three or so if we were gonna use one of those CAN profiles. But today what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna come in here and we're going to go select effects and perform a star and we're just going to come out here we'll just pick one of these star transition chx transition there's no transitions up this i'm going to put that in and uh, we're going to come out and we'll be out on um, ch which is the approach and i'm going to use the bats in charts here This is a simulating a conclusion of a flight from Taiwan to uh, Kai Tak, the old airport. That's what we're doing, but we've also programmed in a round robin, as we call them. Uh, validate. Click on a value to change it. You can do heading. Uh, let's see. You can actually go in here and heading 270. Show you why in a second. Okay. 270, 8,000 feet. Click on a value to change it, validate, and move the aircraft. And my, and they're going to get us airborne. All they have to do is be on the runway. And uh, the engine's running. You see in the upper left, okay, you see that? Preparing your aircraft, standby, preparing for the approach. I'll cover that back up with my, my ugly little face there. But here we are, very important flight for me. Um, pretty sentimental about this stuff you can see if you take a look it's configuring right now there's nothing in there it's doing a bunch of things I asked it to be at 8,000 feet heading 270 which is directly towards CH which is the start of this approach right here I'll show you yeah a very 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 famous IGS runway 13 this uh, airport was decommissioned 1998 this is an MD-11 as I mentioned in FedEx colors this would have been a flight that would have flown from uh, Taipei on over you can see that my gear is down at the moment I don't need that I'll bring that back up see the gear coming up and we're gonna fly our approach it loops around on into Kai Tak, which is down here. All right, let's come back over here. Let's go inside, see how we're doing. And it looks like we're actually moving. 
So, let's go to our box. I'm going to set up my approach. HHX, star, IGS-13. Uh, bins around 660 is fine. Put that in. Insert it. Insert it. Go direct. CH is right in front of us. Come up here. I'm going to execute nav. I'm going to bring this all the way down to 660. I'm going to go profile. Sorry about that, guys. And it's coming down to correct down to the DTI. And here it comes. And beautiful. I'll put this down at min 660. I'm going to speed intervene here. 210 is fine. We're coming down nicely onto the VTI. We're profile all pinked up, and that's not what FSI panel does for you. Let's come down here. What a great year it's been, guys. Remember, I had it all set up for takeoff. Don't need that much of brakes. Let's put the slots out. We can actually uh, below 255. We can go to flaps 15. There's a flaps 15 bug. Get some lighting up here for you guys. Things are coming fast and furious, aren't they? All right, so let's see the approach we're doing. I also need to come in the box, nav rad, and uh, come to the approach, and it's 111.9 and 088, 111.9 and 088, and there we go, and we are turning, we are on the VTI, making our approach on in. We have to be 180 or less at this point right there, so we'll start slowing on now. Bring the airspeed back. Here we go. And we get the gear down. We go to flaps 28. And let's submit 28. Here's a new airport down here. This is a new Hong Kong coming into view. Making our approach. Now this is kind of funky in that you're actually flying an ILS right into the mountains when you intercept. So we come back inside. I'll show you. Once you get established here, you see the uh, localizer course starting to come off the wall. There, we are right on the glide path. We can on the uh, approach because what we're doing. Let me show you again. I know this is coming at you fast and furious. We're coming around here uh, below 180 knots, and uh, we're going to intercept the ILS right in. That's a checkerboard if you do it in visual. If you're looking for that as I showed you, and it's going to fly a glide slope and a path right towards the ILS here. This part will be visual. So it's not going to the runway. It's going to this point here. So we are armed up. It's very strange. You're going to end up right over the, uh, in the city. Should be picking up the localizer here shortly. A little bit better lighting there. I'll bring the speed back. I said 180 or less. We'll come back down to 170. If you go to the box, what's our approach speed going to be? We'll go flaps 50, uh, 149 or so. Flaps 35. Flaps 35 speed. And flaps 50. Set approach speed, final approach speed. We said 149. Voila. Gear flaps, speed brakes, and thing. And we have green box. And we're flying our nice little glide uh, approach. Here's the glide path alive. Localizers alive. Stabilizer motion. It's on the VTI.
Now I could take it over here and go vertical speed. Come up and grab the glide path. Right here. Let it come up. And we'll get the glide path looks arm and glide slope arm. And that's it. We're set up, baby. But the event of this approach, we'll go 3,000. We'll fly what's in the box there. It's a 135, a 315 heading, basically out towards TH. What a year it's been, guys. What a year for me, uh, flying this stuff. And uh, let's get say intentions operating here. Kitech Tower, this is FedEx 123 on the IGS runway 13, request landing clearance. FedEx 123, heavy winds calm, runway 13, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 13, FedEx 123, heavy. All right, guys, we got low capture. Here comes the glide slope coming down. When you make this approach over here, just watching the videos, man, are you low to the city. So low to the city. It's like you, you feel like you should not be doing that. All right, so now we're using FSI panel to position us. We're using uh, say intentions to give us some radio contact. I could have done it farther out, but I was I was humping to get things done here. We're fully configured. Landing checklist is complete. All we'd have to do is set the approach out to. Here comes our glide path. Light slope capture, and we're doing that ILS right in here. But remember, the it's bringing us here. The runway is actually way over there, so we're going to wait until we see the checkerboard. We're going down to a minimum of 660 on this approach. 660. This approach out to be 3,000 on the 315 heading. On uh, the uh, right here, turn around. I'm sorry. Let's get our heading all set, bug set up, and I'll get that set up to go towards the runway. Let's be, let's be optimistic. So we got low capture, glide slope capture, coming down nicely. Unbelievable. What a year it's been for me, uh, retiring and uh, Getting into flight simming, starting a YouTube channel, learning curve's been tremendously steep for me. Now somewhere out here, we showed you the uh, checkerboard. It's quite a turn to final, guys. You definitely want to be slow as you make your approach on in there. That's the runway right out here, right going there. So um, on the other side of this, the city, we're going to come in right over the city, get the autopilot off, probably turn off the flight director down here. So here we are, FSI panel, say intentions, TFS, TFI design, MD-11, which I've been flying uh, as quality assurance pilot. It's been an unbelievable year. I want to thank you guys for all your support this last year. Um, I know I've been an ignoramus on the simulator. You've helped me a lot in the comments section over on Discord. It's been, it's just been tremendous. So anyway, 1998 vintage, that's when this airport was closed. The FedEx MD-11 was used. Uh, Lots of time for this flight to uh, Taipei on in here. 1, I think we just picked up the scenery pack here. I'm looking for the, uh, looking over here for the checkerboard. Probably right in this section, right here. Stabilizer motion. Tendency is to put up the autopilot. Extend downwind right. spacing for departing traffic. Autopilot is off. Extending downwind, Skyline 422 Alpha Mike. Stop bringing it around. There's a checkerboard here, guys. 500. So this is a little tighter. Some of the guys, if they got visual and checkerboard in sight, would start their approach a lot earlier to give themselves a little more of a, a final than this. Pick up the Vazis, red over white. Fire, departing. Vintage 1998, thank you 
Flight Simulator 2020. Thank you guys for subscribing. What a year it's been for Father Time. After takeoff, fly runway heading until reaching 5500, then proceed on course. Heads up, your app version is too old for a reliable experience. Please update to the latest version by downloading from the pilot portal. That's a great way to end it. Man, what a year. What a year, guys. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so and I'm Father Time, and thank you so much for everything. What a great year. Father Time.